guys, if you're looking for Madden Ultimate Team coins at some of the cheapest prices on the market, make sure you check out my new sponsor, utnfl.com, and use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 5% discount. Hey, what is up, guys? ClickWid here, back again with another Madden Ultimate Team update for you guys. Today, we're going to be talking about the Ultimate Ticket update that we saw today. This came out over on Mutthead. We've also got some other information coming in from a couple other sources. Texas Boy had some information as well, so make sure you go check out his channel, of course. Um, but uh, today, guys, the big news that came out was that the forms for the people who pulled Ultimate Tickets came out, and now we know exactly what can and cannot be upgraded, how the chemistries are going to work, various different things like that. So this is good information, guys. If you're interested in the Ultimate or Golden Tickets, whatever you want to call them, this year they're called Ultimate Tickets. So we were kind of speculating that they might be a little bit different than years in the past, and it does look like they're going to be a little bit different, but I actually think that they're going to be just fine. I, I know there was a lot of initial reaction on Twitter about this, and it was kind of chaotic. But uh, in the end, I think we're all going to be pretty happy with these ultimate tickets, or it seems like anyway. So uh, a couple things, guys. First of all, this information that I'm getting is coming from Mutthead. So I will leave a link to this thread in the description below. You guys can go check it out yourselves. Make sure that you check out the responses and various different things like that. I think I actually left the response in here that I'm kind of regretting, but I'm not really somebody who goes and deletes that kind of stuff. Uh, just because we didn't have all the information at the time. And, and when I replied, I think what I said was pretty relevant. But... Uh, we're going to go down here, guys, and we'll talk a little bit about the various things that it says on here. So first of all, uh, it gives a little congratulations, and it has um, a questionnaire. So basically, again, they're going to have the person that pulled the ultimate ticket out of packs. Uh, they're going to be able to fill this out and build the card that they want. If you guys don't know how that works, go back and check out my previous video on ultimate tickets, and there's some information about that. So first thing you're going to need to do if you have pulled an ultimate ticket is that you're going to be able to provide the name, the position, and the version of an existing player. Again, guys, this has to be an existing player. So, for example, you can't take Marquette King and put him at running back, for example, okay, because Marquette King plays punter okay now if there was a marquette king quarterback card like from the ultimate freeze or something like that we can go ahead and upgrade that um, so those types of things are still in the game you can take an out of position player if that position out of position player is already existing in the game does that make sense again can't take a player and put him at another position unless that card already exists in the game make sure you guys remember that as we're going through this uh continuing on now what you're going to do once you've picked your position and your player is that you're going to go through and actually take a look at the attributes that can be upgraded. So for quarterback, you can choose five of these attributes. You've got throw power, play action, throw on the run, carrying, throw accuracy deep, mid and short, elusiveness, juke move, ball carrier vision, and stiff arm. So a lot of different things go in there, obviously. I mean, I think most people are probably going to do throw power. I, I imagine throw accuracy deep, mid, and maybe short, but maybe not even short. So we'll probably see those three. And then beyond that, it's kind of up to you. Um, I think a lot of people will probably maybe upgrade play action just because that can create some extra separation. And beyond that, I'm not really sure what they're, they're maybe carrying or something. So when you get hit in the backfield, maybe you won't fumble as much. I don't know. It's hard to say what people are going to do on quarterback. Um, but as you go down here, because, you know, most court, most people aren't going to run a lot with their quarterbacks, at least in this year's Madden, just because you can take it away quite a bit easier than you could in previous years. I mean, the um, the contains actually work decently to keep quarterbacks in the pocket. Don't roast me for that. I'm just saying for the average player, it works OK. Uh, and then obviously the um, the QB spies tend to work OK, at least in this year's game. Um, so continuing on from that, we've got running back and we're not going to go through every single one of these. I'm just going to show you guys quickly. You can see running back. You can choose four of the attributes. So it's not five for every single thing. We've got like defensive line here, linebackers, obviously cornerbacks, and you can pause the video if you want and make sure that you see exactly the position, um, that you're taking a look at here. Um, safeties as well. And then, um, one thing that I do want to point out guys is that there are no spaces for offensive line. It appears now, granted, I don't think anybody would take a, an ultimate ticket and do an offensive lineman, but it is kind of weird, and it's kind of also telling, in my opinion, that EA doesn't even just bother to put offensive linemen. I think I think they pretty much are kind of almost telling us that uh, offensive line is relatively irrelevant this year, and I think that's been proven uh, based on when you look at the winners of like the salary cap challenges and uh, even the draft champions and things like that. Most of the people who win or at least are competitive are not investing a lot in their offensive line. 
so just keep that stuff in mind but uh that is kind of weird though that they don't even allow you to do an offensive lineman so something to think about but um one thing that you will notice here guys as you're going through as far as i saw there was no strength attribute that you could upgrade um and also the big one no speed speed is not anywhere to be found on here now there's a reason for that i'm gonna get into it um but at first glance when i saw that i immediately tweeted this is aids and like because i mean think about it that wouldn't it really wouldn't have surprised me it really didn't even surprise me i was just like yup seems about right you know based on what we've seen from madden this year but we later found out through a tweet that uh that is actually not true so here's the twitter account here um you see somebody responding here um why didn't you let us upgrade the speed and act uh and act i don't know what that even is uh i'm assuming he's saying acceleration this year for ultimate tickets um same thing again by the way acceleration not upgradable on any of the positions and it says did you pull one congrats those ratings will automatically be updated meaning that if you're talking about a, a player that's got like 92 speed or something like that you don't have to upgrade the speed they're automatically going to boost that speed and the acceleration and the strength things like that so that's really really good news because it gives us a little bit more flexibility with choosing the things that we actually want to upgrade with our cards so back to the actual form here um so keep that in mind guys obviously you're going to be able to upgrade speed and acceleration you just won't be able to choose you know that is one of the things it's just automatically going to do it so uh i do think that that's actually a good thing i'm i'm uh, definitely a fan of that the one thing that i'm kind of worried about is how much they're going to upgrade speed and acceleration and strength and things like that because if you take like a slower player for example are they going to only boost all of them up by like two or three for speed and acceleration or like if i were to have let's just say, hypothetically say i had a defensive lineman that um that has 80 speed or something like that is it possible that he could get boosted to an 88 speed or a 90 speed or something like that because if not i'm probably not going to go with that guy you know speed is so important in this game that i really think that you would need to keep that in mind um so we'll have to find out about that maybe somebody can get us some more information on exactly how much the speed and acceleration are going to go up for some of these and uh are we still for certain that we're going to be able to take any card like for example uh in years past somebody took the uh donald penn tight end card this is like one of my favorite golden tickets so i always go back to it uh but i believe that it was like a 75 overall or something like that to begin with uh and bu tweezy used his golden ticket card in years past and it gets boosted all the way up to a 99 overall so that means that all of those attributes on that original donald penn got huge pushes up just massive pushes to the just uh, ridiculous things like uh he had crazy catching he actually had decent speed his impact block was like 99 his strength was like 99 like everything was ridiculous on that card um and the reason for it again is because it started off so low that they had to boost it up a crazy amount to make it like the other golden tickets that were 99 overall whereas when you took an already 99 overall card as we saw with like let's say uh mike vick ultimate legend for example uh when somebody upgraded that in years past that one didn't get as much of a stat boost it was only like one or two or three here and there so it still was a really really good card don't get me wrong but you didn't see quite that big jump so it's going to be interesting to see exactly how that breaks down i imagine it's going to be the same as years past where we're all going to have 99 overall um golden tickets or ultimate tickets in this case but it's hard to know for sure so uh continuing on it does ask about chemistries as well so you're going to be able to choose two types of chemistry so like the, the base chemistries and things like that um and then you're also going to be able to choose two of the one or one of the ones to give double chemistry to it so a times two chemistry so just like all the a lot of the other cards that are coming out right now the high-end cards they'll have like two of the base ones and then they will also have a chemistry ability as you see here you're going to be able to choose one of the chemistry abilities now there doesn't appear to be any sort of limit on that the only thing that it says is motivator chem is not available so that's not something that you can put in there but I think that you can do like prime time for example like it doesn't say anything that you can't do that so that might be something to consider now granted the prime time one is only as far as i remember it's only been on Deion sanders so far so that would be kind of cool if we could see that prime time cam on like a i don't know another player of some sort like i don't know it would just be something cool to see i think um and then obviously the last thing the final thing that you can do is check out the actual art on the card so you get to decide what kind of art that you want to put on the card whether you want it to be most feared legends ultimate legends um campus legend you know whatever you want you get to choose so that's obviously a good thing um i think that that's a, a same thing as years in the past 
but uh, overall guys I think this is pretty much going to be the same as what we've had in years past so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to drop a like on it and also please make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you are new I'll be bringing you guys some more ultimate ticket information in the coming days got somebody who's got an ultimate ticket and he wants our feedback on what he should upgrade so I'll be making a video about that probably tomorrow so be sure to stop on back for that and uh, with that said, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Thanks so much, and I will talk to you guys again soon.